Hello, Capricorn. Okay, I just dropped all my cards. <laughs> Welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree, and I will be doing your Money, Wealth, Finance, Prosperity, Abundance reading for the month of December 2020. Uh, if this is your first time catching one of my readings, I do want to say welcome, and I invite you to subscribe because I do these readings each and every month, and I would love to share your money message with you. For the readings this month, I will be using my white tarot deck. I will clarify with my Radiant Rider Waite tarot deck, and then Capricorn, I will close out your reading with a Wisdom of the Oracle card. Okay, so Capricorn, let's get right into your reading. I'm feeling like a very pa fast paced energy. So uh, a lot of times I just go with that and I think the cards reflect that too. But it was interesting because the last reading I did, um, it was a very calm, slow moving energy. But now uh, suddenly I st I'm feeling I'm feeling <laughs> things moving quickly. So let's go ahead, Capricorn, and see what we need to know as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of December 2020. What do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn? Yes. All right. So um, I can very clearly see. Things are happening, things are progressing, money's growing, money's flowing. Uh, it's all about timing for you, Capricorn. As we move into this first week of December, pay attention to the timing, pay attention to your dates because uh, it's very important. Okay, if you're signing any contracts, if you are uh, making any type of agreements, both verbal and written, pay attention to the dates, make sure everything is... Um, as it should be because it like I said it looks like the dates and the timing is going to be very very important and very very crucial but let's start with the king of cups here in the reverse this is sometimes a very abrasive um, people can label it non-caring energy but you ever <clears throat> excuse me deal with those people who are just very direct and they come across as mean but that's just not how they are uh, that's what this king of cups is here you know he's not you know, the lovey-dovey uh, feeling type. It's like he communicates very directly. And I have a feeling, Capricorn, that this is you. It's like you don't have time to cater to other people's feelings. You don't have time to worry about, oh, is she going to be mad? Oh, is he going to be upset? Oh, it's like you have to do what you need to do. And you're going to do it in a very direct, non-confrontational way. However, some people may misinterpret that as you being mean, you being cold, you being bitter, right? So, you know, this is just one of those things I think that, you know, you got to do what you got to do and uh, let people think what they think. Now, we also have the Knight of Wands. This is talking about timing uh, as it relates to your work. Something is happening. You're also going to be getting some type of financial assistance. Now, when I say financial assistance, I don't necessarily feel like this is going to be someone just giving you money, but I do feel like someone's going to help you get a job done that could be financially beneficial to you. So, you know, let's say you are in a craft fair or something like that and, you know, maybe somebody comes over and helps you make all of your crafts so you can sell them. Or, you know, maybe somebody helps you do some updates on your home so your home value goes up. Uh, but there's somebody who's gonna show up probably within the first week of December or you will talk to that person uh, the first week of December and make plans for this person to come help you. There's definitely going to be some type of a financial benefit for you as a result of that. That's very good. Now we have the Page of Swords in reverse, which is interesting because we have the Ace of Swords uh, in reverse. And these are two very um, flighty cards. Now the Ace of, or the Page of Swords talks about you getting news and information about something being eliminated or something being stopped. The other thing about the Page of Swords is uh, sometimes it's just unexpectedly something gets cut off, something gets stopped or removed. Um, the other thing I'm 
picking up about the Page of Swords is there's going to be some changes with somebody young uh, close to you. Now, this could be your child, could be a student, could be um, a relative, whatever, uh, but there's somebody young who's going to be doing something. Uh, I'm getting the sense that it's, it's, it's somebody young near you who wants to either work with you or somebody who wants to... Um, have you assist him or her in making money it's very very weird but I don't usually get that with this card but I'm getting that intuitively right now so okay so uh, depending on who you are what your circumstances is that may or may not apply but uh, this could be a young person approaching you for money could be a young person uh, who wants to you know do something so they can make money you know like let's say they say hey can I wash your car for, you know, 20 bucks, whatever? You know, it's something like that. Uh, whatever the case may be, I also feel like, again, this is news and information about something being taken away. Now, we have the Ace of Wands here. We have the Ace of Swords. So we have um, these swords here, both in reverse. Then we've got the two Aces. So this is very interesting. Again, a lot of this is about timing. Things are progressing. There's something at your work, something uh, as it relates to what you do for a living. Now, this may or may not be a job, could be a business, could be investing, could be whatever. Uh, but whatever you're doing to support yourself, you know, your own livelihood, uh, that is definitely going to be going well. If it's not already going well, it's growing. Uh, there's going to be some new aspects to that, too, which will create new opportunity to increase your money. Now, the nice thing about the Ace of Wands is this talks about multiple streams of income. So if you already are very much secure in your work, there's going to be another opportunity to, for you to make some additional income. Uh, it will show up within this first week of December and I think this is something that's going to definitely make some huge uh, gains for you financial gains right so uh, that's you know really something to uh, get excited about because I know a lot of you have been you know waiting and looking for new opportunities to increase your income streams now we also have the ace of swords here and it's really interesting when you get two aces back to back one upright, one in reverse. Now, the Ace of Swords in reverse talks about something <laughs> not necessarily um, happening in the way that we think it should. So let's say we have a project that's, you know, it's, it's getting off the ground, and it looks like things are going well, things are flowing, and then suddenly, bam, uh, something gets in the way of that. Now, could this be related to this opportunity here? Oh, absolutely. But could this also be something uh, independent of this opportunity? Yes, again, it will depend on your circumstances and your situation. But I do feel like there is going to be some slowdowns in uh, something that you had thought was already sealed and ready to go. Uh, there's going to be something that, you know, doesn't necessarily stop it wholeheartedly, but it does kind of put some clinks in, in, in the operation where things just kind of slow down. So, you know, you have some good, you have some slowdown, you have some things growing, and then you have some things, uh, you know, stalling, okay? And uh, there's really no other way to kind of explain that, and there's really no other way to compensate for it other than to just know that it's a possibility, and then to make plans and to adjust accordingly. Finally, we have the Five of Swords. This talks about improved communication, which is very good in both work and business. Looks like you're going to start talking to people, and you know they understand. Uh, there's no misunderstanding. There's no arguing. It just means that you know relationships, professional relationships that were once strained. Uh, finally start to flow a little bit better. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, we realize that maybe not everybody sees sees things, this, you know, the same way we see them, but it doesn't mean that we still can't work together and we still can't make money together. All right, Capricorn. So let's continue and see what else shows up for you. As it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. For the month of December 2020, what do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn? 
Okay, Capricorn. Looks like you've got a lot of changes as we move into the second week of December. Change is definitely happening. Some big changes. Looks like you have changes uh, as it relates to your work and your business here. Again, having another ace in the reverse position talks about things slowing down, things, you know, kind of uh, not happening in the way that we expected them to. Now, again, this is not necessarily bad, but it is an inconvenience is what I'm getting from these cards here. Now, we also have the Fool card in the reverse. The Fool card in the reverse talks about um, postponing a new journey, uh, not necessarily going in the direction you had initially thought you would go in. Uh, something kind of changes the landscape, so to speak, you know, because uh, the fool is all about, you know, just charging ahead and moving ahead without hesitation. But I get the feeling that something is going to kind of change your perspective on a new project that you could be working on. Now, when it comes to money, this is also something good because it's giving you time to kind of, you know, rethink your plan. It's also saying that, hey, uh, you don't have to necessarily move forward, you know, with this project or with this job or with this business if it doesn't necessarily feel right and if something is feeling off to you. Uh, next, we have the Queen of Swords here. Now, the Queen of Swords in the reverse, she is someone who has to let go of something and sometimes you know she does in bits and pieces it's like it's not a complete uh, discontinuation of something well as this relates to your money it means that something could could be um, reduced in a very um, I want to say pattern like way uh, in other words let's say maybe you um, like maybe you have a job or something and uh, they're reducing your responsibilities, but they're not necessarily uh, giving you any type of game plan. It's like, oh, okay, you just don't have to do that anymore. And sometimes it's confusing. That's the other thing about the Queen of Swords card is that sometimes it's a very confusing energy because you get one message of say something being stopped, but then you get another message of, you know, well, this is going to replace that or you're just going to do something different because you're not doing this anymore. And I know sometimes it's very frustrating because even when uh, we get these messages, spiritually sometimes it's hard to adapt because we don't know exactly what the end goal is. And that's what I'm getting from this card here. It's like you're going to be... Um, Someone's going to present some changes to you. They may or may not make sense. And you're going to have to figure out a way to adjust anyway. And I have a feeling that this is something of a financial nature. Okay. Uh, next, we have the Hierophant and the Lover's card in the reverse. The Hierophant in the reverse talks about you going against the grain. I like to see this card um, when people are trying to figure out their spirituality. Now, I know we're not talking about that. We're talking about money, wealth, finances, you know, but sometimes uh, doing something kind of off book in order to create a income or a lifestyle for yourself, uh, sometimes that's acceptable. Maybe not to the masses, but it is to you. And, you know, I have a feeling you're going to be kind of going through that. You know, maybe you're thinking of, you know, writing a book about something or maybe you're thinking about uh, moving into a industry that may not necessarily be uh, widely accepted you know to your family or maybe to everybody you know but that doesn't mean it can't work for you okay uh, finally we have the lover's card this is a divine separation this is a parting of ways but it's not it's not like a, a negative thing it's like you know when you outgrow something or you outgrow someone uh, i have a feeling that that's what this is about here you could be outgrowing your job you could be outgrowing your business or maybe your partners just maybe you're just not connecting with uh, him or her anymore and so this lover's card talks about you know going uh, in our own ways and really doing something I don't know. I I feel like this is just really about I guess I'm I'm hesitating because I don't like to be too um negative, but I just feel like there's somebody 
here or there's something that's just not working and so you both decide to kind of go different ways now it could be a person it could be a job but i i truly feel like what's coming through intuitively is like there's going to be a separation of some sort and you know, it might be a little hurtful in the beginning, but in the long run, it's going to be for the best. And I know some people don't like to hear that. I know some people um, tell me like, oh, there's, you know, all these negative cards, these reverse cards means bad stuff's going to happen. But I don't think they truly understand um, intuitive readings and also how sometimes uh, that is how life is. You know, realistically, life is not always everything going perfectly. And I do feel like my job as an intuitive reader and as an intuitive messenger is to give you these little insights and give you these nuggets that will help you, you know, either prepare or help you to, you know, kind of assimilate into a situation and to be proactive about things. OK, so uh, with all of that said, <laughs> let's go ahead and see what else shows up in the second half of the month, because I have a feeling the things are still going to work out for you in a very unique way, Capricorn. Let's see what happens. So what do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of December 2020. See, and here we go. Now, good news, good money news is coming. We also got the judgment card. Now, the judgment card is a very powerful card because this is a card talking about rebirth and renewal. If you are going your separate ways from someone or something that has a financial tie it's going to really release a whole lot of opportunity, <clears throat> excuse me, in your life that you may or may not be aware of. The judgment card really talks about showing up in a brand new way and really kind of uh, being exposed to new opportunities, new ways to create money, new ways to pay the bills, all those fun, wonderful things. This is a very good card. And once we hit the second half of December, you can expect to really feel almost a release of something that could have been burdensome even to some degree. Now we also have the strength card in reverse. This is the card that we have to pay attention to because the strength card in reverse talks about burnout. So please Capricorn, do not overwork yourself and do not stress too much, you know. You have to take time for self-care and you also have to be very, very careful that you're not doing too much. So when the time comes for you to really do something to make more money, to grow your business, to really, you know, do whatever it is you want to do, that you have the strength and the energy and the focus to do that. Next, we have the Six of Wands in reverse. Six of Wands in reverse talks about you going within, uh, not necessarily showing up, you know, in a big way publicly. The other thing about the Six of Wands is it means that, you know, sometimes uh, you don't necessarily need a lot of attention. I know everyone goes through these phases where they want to be seen and then they have times when they want to be unseen. Not necessarily hiding, but really taking a step back so you can figure out exactly what your next move is going to be. Uh, we talked about the Page of Pentacles. This is very, very, very good news coming in. Very good financial news coming in the second half of December. This is something that's definitely going to uh, be good. This is something that's definitely going to be a positive as it relates to your overall money situation. All right, so get ready for that. And then we have a Six of Cups here. The Six of Cups means a positive reconnection of something or someone in your past. So these two could be related because they are next to each other, but I do see some good news coming in as it relates to your money. And it could be uh, with someone or from someone from your past. You know, maybe an old boss, old colleague, maybe an old college friend, whatever. Uh, but you definitely have uh, some good ties here. And it's definitely going to be something that benefits you financially. All right, Capricorn. <clears throat> what do
what else do we need to know for the sign of Capricorn as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? I feel like I need one more card. There we go. All right. So as we close out the month of December, Capricorn, uh, that's when things are really going to shift for you in a very big way. So, you know, the first half of the month, Things are just kind of uh, agitated. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it could be a little bit of an uncomfortable thing. But as we move through towards the end of December, um, I'm looking at some really good things here, especially as it relates to your work and as it relates to uh, who you are as a person and how you're showing up in your financial world. So we have the Three of Cups here in the reverse. This talks about a removal of interference. Uh, whatever, if there was someone who was kind of holding you back or uh, if there was, you know, maybe somebody interfering in your projects or in your business, uh, that person or whatever that thing was uh, moves away. The other thing about the Three of Cups is it talks about canceled celebrations. So if there is a party or something going on, uh, there's a possibility that this gathering could be canceled. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if that were the case, considering we are in a global pandemic. Uh, but I am getting a much stronger sense that this is uh, the removal of some type of interference, like the removal of something that is uh, disrupting your financial plans or your financial goals. Uh, next, we have the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles talks about you being recognized for the work that you do. Now, this also means an increase in customers and clients. So if you are in that type of service industry where you, you know, uh, you market to clients and you attract customers, uh, you're definitely going to be attracting a lot of customers uh, the end of December. This is really, really good. Seven of Pentacles talks about you uh, feeling a little... Um, not excited, but not sad either. It's like you're, you're satisfied with your work, but at the same time, uh, you start looking for new challenges. You know, you're feeling like, uh, you want to do more. You want to have more. You want to experience more. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but your intuition is definitely going to lead the way. And we have the High Priestess here. She's a beautiful energy. Uh, probably another one of my favorite cards in the deck because she really embraces uh, that inner guidance, that inner wisdom that I believe is definitely going to lead you into a bigger and better direction for what you're trying to achieve, Capricorn. Now, because she fell on to this page of pentacles here, uh, this good news is definitely going to be something that uh, intuitively kind of challenges you as well. You know, you have to really figure out, you know, what's going on uh, with this, you know, I'm going to embrace all the good and all the abundance that's coming my way. But at the same time, what is my next step going to be? Your intuition will be communicating with you loud and clear, especially during this time as we close out the month and as we move into a new month and into a new year. Finally, we have the Page of Swords. This is more good news coming your way. Uh, again, because this fell on the Page of Pentacles, I'm getting the sense that this is going to be something that is also going to be financially beneficial. The Page of Swords uh, is good news about something being stopped. So let's say, you know, you were paying something and now you no longer have to pay on something. The other thing about the Page of Swords, uh, this is a repeater card because we had him here. Uh, this could be the same youth that we were talking about up here. Uh, it could be something that carries through throughout the end of the month. I'm getting that could be applicable to some of you, but I'm also picking up too with this card here is that uh, the Page of Swords is more news and information, but it's going to be good. Uh, it's going to be something being stopped, something being gone, you know, and it's going to benefit you financially. So overall, Capricorn, your month is, like I said, very um, shifty. Now, that's not a bad thing. You know, I don't want anybody to feel nervous or worried about that. Uh, a lot of times when I do these readings, too, it's to give you guys a little bit of insight and give you guys, you know, a heads up about some of the energies that could be changing and, and things that could be happening, you know, intuitively uh, throughout the month, you know, throughout the days, the weeks, whatever. 
So let's go ahead and close out your reading, Capricorn. I'm getting these two cards here. All right, so this is the wisdom of the oracle here. Ooh, nice. You got milk and honey and the tribe. This is card number 51, card number eight. Now, milk and honey, this is the land of overflowing, right? Things just abundantly uh, work out for you in a very positive, profound way. There is no lack. There is always enough. And the other thing about milk and honey is that there's a time to really enjoy everything that we have, and there's a time to celebrate. Uh, the other thing about the tribe is who is near you? You know, who is uh, the people supporting you during this time? That's going to be something important to focus on because we all have a tribe to some degree could be people close to us. Sometimes it's not, you know, um, but I do feel like uh, the power of the tribe is definitely going to be a very important supportive energy for you to embrace throughout the month of December 2020. All right, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope it was helpful. This was probably, um, I want to say, the most powerful reading that I did for December. And I'm not surprised that this is the one I did last for the month, uh, just because I really feel like there's some breakthroughs happening, you know. And again, it depends on how you uh, want to interpret the information and how you want to apply, you know, what is being shared here. So if you have any questions about that, feel free to drop them down below because I always love reading your feedback. And I want to thank you so much, Capricorn, for spending this time with me. We will definitely do it all again next month.